there is a sound of bombardment coming from all around us, and all of the civilians from this area are fleeing. Okay, I think we can probably go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Sasha, let's go. We're in an area of northwest of Kiev, where there's been intense fighting over the past few days between the Russians and the Ukrainian militaries. There is intense bombardment. Oh my God, coming from all around us right now. Jesus Christ. Ее цель – защита людей, которые на протяжении 8 лет подвергаются издевательствам, геноциду со стороны киевского режима. И для этого мы будем стремиться к демилитаризации и денацификации Украины. After months of amassing more than 100,000 troops on the Ukrainian border, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered an invasion of the country from multiple directions. For weeks now, Western intelligence agencies have been warning that Russia might launch a full-scale war on Ukraine. But few here believed it could happen. However, this morning, after around 5 o'clock, Russia began airstrikes across the country, and there are air raid sirens going off right now here in the heart of Kiev. Thousands are racing to get out of Kiev lining up to board trains and buses that will take them out of the city. Did you ever expect that you would have to flee Kiev with your family? It was obvious that the aggression will be, because everything has been done for a long time. Only a naive fool didn't understand why it will lead to all this. In principle, we gathered things already on the 15th of August. And we were just waiting for when it will start. What do you think will happen next? Що ми можемо? Ми можемо стояти, ми можемо тримати це разом. В нас є армія, в нас діє влада, в нас є президент, парламент. Ми будемо жити. As night falls, Russia continues its advance, and people are taking shelter underground, in basements, parking garages, and subway stations. Twenty-seven-year-old Kristina Mazurchik works in a jewelry store. She tried to take shelter in a subway station close to her house, but it was completely full. So she's come here to the Kushatik station with her mom and sister. Сьогодні зранку я повинна була їхати на роботу, але телефони мені мама говорить, мені дуже страшно прийти до мене. Ми не знали, що залишатися вдома чи що робити, і вирішили піти у метро. What do you think is going to happen in the coming days? Are you scared by what you might find when you go above ground tomorrow? без обстрілів там. Навіть якщо там будуть там якісь руїни, то це все можна переробити, це все таке набути буде з часом. Нічого такого, але щоб просто всі відступили і все було добре. But Russian forces continue to push deeper into the country and into Kyiv. This apartment block was struck by a rocket from fighting a few kilometers away. Six people were injured. Я знаходився в тому крилі якраз з хворими, значить, і після грохоту ми всі евакуювали в бункер. 
Alexei Orlov was on duty at the hospital across the road. What would have happened had that shell or missile hit the hospital? Як бачите, цей дім рятував лікарню. Тому що по траєкторії він би влучив це в те крило, де знаходиться хірургічне відділення. І він, і він би вбив висококласних спеціалістів, які хочуть працювати, які ніколи не тримали зброї в руках. Наша зброя – це скальпель і розум. But other Ukrainians are taking up arms. So we're here outside this building in Kiev that the government is using as a distribution point to hand out weapons to, well, anyone who wants one, so that they can use them in the fight against the Russians. On the day of the invasion, these two friends, one a software engineer and the other a biochemist, decided to join the Territorial Defense Force, an all-volunteer group within the Ukrainian military. Russians have enslaved this land since I don't know, at least 16th century. They've made their best to suppress our language, to suppress our culture, to prohibit printing books in Ukrainian. And now they want to overthrow our state. Like, what other choice do we have? It's pretty obvious. Ukrainians have suffered a lot of casualties so far. Aren't you afraid that you might be one of them? They're hitting buildings where civilians are living. So we're in danger everywhere and the only option that we have left is to fight back and take as much of these bastards to hell as we can. The volunteer groups are setting up checkpoints all across the city. We're here at this checkpoint and these territorial defense forces are suspecting that someone might be over there. They've taken up position. It gives you a sign of just how tense things are in Kiev at the moment. What happened there exactly? Подозрительные люди, и мы их проверили. Если подозрил, что находимо, мы их затримуем и забираем для того, чтобы проверить, кто они, что они и для чего они сюда пришли. Потому что очень много диверсивных разведывательных групп. Viktor Kirichenko is in charge of this checkpoint in the Vishneva neighborhood in western Kiev. Who are these guys? Тут знаходяться звичайні люди, які прийшли на допомогу військовим. Вони зробили коктейль Молотова. Вони прийшли, взяли свою зброю, що у кого було. Are you worried that Russian forces are going to make it here to the center of Kiev? Вони вже прийшли. Вони вже вбивають наших людей. Вони вбивають наших дітей, жінок, матерів. І вони вже дуже близько, десь приблизно кілометрів 10 від цього стоїть вражеська техніка. Близько 400 єдиниць бронетехніки, танків і ракет. Do you think that you and civilian volunteers and others are going to be capable of stopping them? Ми в цьому впевнені. І ми їх переможемо, навіть якщо ми помремо і ворог буде розбитий. Я в цьому впевнений на 300%. Тому Перемога буде за нами. The strength of the Ukrainian defense has surprised the Russians, who have made only small territorial gains while losing hundreds of tanks and military vehicles in the process. Just over there are at least three military vehicles that have been absolutely destroyed. The Ukrainian soldiers told us that they belong to the Russians who tried to come down this road this morning when they were met with a fierce resistance from the Ukrainian military here. These two vehicles here belong to the Ukrainians and they're blocking the road because as you can see, 
behind them, it's a straight shot to the heart of Kiev. So are you optimistic that the Ukrainians can stop the Russian advance? Можу. Даю на на 90% то, що ми їх отут всіх лишимо, і що буде діти. Всіх отут там. But it's unclear how long the Ukrainian defenses can hold. 40-mile column of Russian tanks is heading directly for Kyiv. People in the city are bracing themselves for a full-scale Russian attack. Where have you been staying since we last saw you a few days ago? Метро так и оставались, мы никуда не выходили. Тяжеловато, морально хочется на воздух и очень холодно. Мы держимся, выхода нет, там более безопасно, чем дома. What do you think is going to happen here? Это что все закончится, но такие прогнозы, что Путин не остановится. Назад дороги уже нет. Хочется надеяться на лучшее. Я надеюсь, что мы победим вместе этого злого, ужасного человека-убийцу.